Closing in on first pitch this evening from Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Tonight the opener of a three game series between the Chicago White Sox and the New York Yankees. It's Yankees baseball and it comes your way next. Giovanni Gallardo gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. Harold, any thoughts? When I look at this game, I look at one number that just jumped out at me. Over 300. Left-handers are hitting over 300. So if he wants to win this game, he's got to get those left-handers out. That will be where my attention is and see if he's able to execute third, in this game. Now batting, John, John Wiggins. Wiggins. Watch is fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. Eaton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Nothing doing here this half. Second inning upcoming here in the Bronx. The White Sox lead it four to nothing. Here's Cameron Mabin now. His average for the year ninth. sits in the 280s entering play. Cameron Mabin. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Drilled to first. Wiggins fields it cleanly, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. All right, here's how the Yanks line up. Striding in once now again, batting. John first Wiggins. Baseman. And he's the John reigning American Wiggins. League Player of the Month. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that pitch oh, catches yeah. the inside corner. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. So it's a two run shot to right center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And it's now a five to two game. Boy talk about when you're hot you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to hit. Trying to pick things up where he left now off. Batting. Brett Laurie, one for two with a double Brett. on his line thus Laurie. far. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Here's Castro for one. On to first to complete the double play. Digging in and looking for more. John Wiggins it comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First pitch on its way. Line toward center field. Eaton has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. That's one of those tough luck. Ready for another chance. Up next for John the Wiggins. First baseman, John Wiggins. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a ball hit to center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder. Way back, and that ball is gone. Two run shot to straightaway center. His second of the game. And they cut the gap here. It's now six to four. Well, partner, this one might not be over yet as the lead has shrunk to just two now as they continue to chip away at this deficit. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. Sean Cologne earns his sixth winning decision in this one as he turns in eight strong innings of work. 
So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. Tuesday night baseball now from Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx tonight the second of three to start the week between the Chicago White Sox and the New York Yankees it's Yankees baseball and it comes your way next. Luis Severino the right handed native of the Dominican Republic will be the starter Dan any thoughts. Well Matt he's been really pitching well recently he even won the pitcher of the month award in the American League with all the other great starters in this league that's really saying something I think he's on top of his game off and I expect to see a solid performance out of him here Adam Eaton. and here's a ball hit in the air Wiggins on the move. He's got it one away. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox. It's been a topic of conversation around this club about how bad he's been struggling. Nobody seems to have the answer but the answers are only going to come from him and I think his confidence is pretty zapped right now. He just has to get out there square up a couple of balls and maybe that confidence will come back. Eaton is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. With that, it's time to check out. Matt, this lineup has been on fire. Everybody's hitting from top to bottom. I don't know how you get them out right now. If you roll the ball up there, they'll probably golf it out of the ballpark. They've been that hot. Here's the first pitch to him. This is line to left. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Throw won't get him. And he will... Digging in and looking Not for batting. more, John right, Wiggins. And John he's the reigning American Wiggins. League Player of the Month. Into the windup and the pitch. Aye. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. A solo shot here to left. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And it'll give the Yankees a 4-2 to two lead. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to him. Here's Jordy Mercer now. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Jordy Mercer. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Here's Castro for one. On the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx. The Yankees four and the White Sox three. Trying to pick things up where we left off. John Wiggins. John. He's two for three with a home run and a double. And that's in there for strike one. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. Here comes the 0-1. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Out of here. A solo shot, and they add another. 
A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game, and it's now 6-3. to three. Well, as a team, they've gone yard four times, and this guy's accounted for half of them. Memo to all pitchers the rest of the game. If this guy comes to the plate, you might. Digging in to try it again. John Wiggins. Two home runs and a double to his credit thus far. Having quite the game. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Man, I think he's trying to send a message right here. I'm going to challenge you. I like my stuff. I think I'm better than you. I don't care how good a hitter you are. And this guy's a good hitter, by the way. But he came right after him early in the count. Called strike 0-2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Eaton going back. Gone into Monument Park. So a three-run blast to deep center here. His third home run of the ball game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick. But how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball equivalent of a hat trick, and that's awfully hard to do. Yeah, this game was decided in the eighth. That was a huge offensive fireworks coming into the eighth inning. And when the other guys put up a big inning like that against you late in the game, it's really tough to make any kind of a comeback. 12 to 3 is the way this one ends. New York hits six home runs as a team on the way to a win. Luis Severino records win number 16 on the season. Dylan Batances hammers down the five out save, his 10th. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. From 161st Street here in the Bronx, MLB The Show's got baseball from Yankee Stadium. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Chicago White Sox and the New York Yankees. It's a battle of top-tier pitchers next on The Show. Masahiro Tanaka will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, when I look at his pitching line, the thing I look at is his whip. He's just below league average, so he's not allowing a lot of traffic on the base pass, and he's keeping his team in the games. If he gets a big break early on, he may run away with it, hold on to the lead, Batting and third. win this game. First baseman. Striding into the John box, John Wiggins. Wiggins. Watch is fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple hey. crown. He leads all three categories. Harold, these White Sox, as they enter play today, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. And, Matt, you always want to win two of the three games. I mean, today is a big game because you walk away and you start adding up those numbers in the series. You go, we won two out of three there. That's the goal for every team, to win two out of three in the series. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And that is off the wall. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. And he will... Digging in, Jack Park. Off for the he went run. deep in the contest Jackson. last night. Jack Park. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. The element of surprise, the big power. Riding in once again, John Wiggins. And if you didn't know, he was recently awarded the American League Player of the Month Award. 
Here's the first pitch to him. A high fastball is in there. Well, he got a high strike on a fastball right there. That's pretty unusual. Usually early in the count, you're going to see a guy work down in the zone. That high fastball uses a put away pitch with two strikes. He pitched him backwards right here. Well hit the other way again. It's into the gap. Sanchez is on his way home. And not in time as the run scores. That triple just seems to be par for the course for him. Ready once again, John Wiggins. And he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. John Wiggins. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Eaton going back. A leap, but he can't get it. It's off the wall. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he is in to third base with a triple. His third hit this afternoon. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Yankee. John First Wiggins. Baseman. Great line John for him in this one. Couple Wiggins. of triples and a double thus far. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Eaton is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. And the throw in gets away from him. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. A one-run finish, 4-3 to three, the final tally today. Masahiro Tanaka earns a league-best 17th victory. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.